Hi guys. Hi guys. Mm -hmm. Why did I look guys. that color on my lips? Hi guys. You want to say hi? You sneeze. <laughs> you have to play sneeze. Say hi, guys. Ma. Hello, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> Did I hear me see back there? Hi, guys. So. It's kind of cold today. And I go well, it's not kind of. It's a lot. It's a lot cold today. Well, not really. It's only 58. But our high today is 60, so we're pretty much sitting at our high. Um. Yeah, so. What the heck? Hold on, wait a minute. That kind of acted like it wanted to sound like my brakes. Okay. Um, we're on our way to the grocery store. Halloween, I guess. You know, to you guys who celebrate it, I don't really celebrate it. I don't. I just, just because I wasn't raised to celebrate Halloween. Um, I just, you know, I we celebrated it when I was little, just so that I could have the experience. But oh, go this way. We celebrated it when I was little, just so I could have the experience, um, but I did grow up in a Christian household, and um, so I just, uh, once I got to a certain age, it was explained to me that we didn't celebrate it, and you know, we did stuff like at the church, and dressed up like Bible characters, so I guess in a way, I've always celebrated Halloween, <laughs> just not in the traditional um throw on a costume any random costume which we weren't allowed to be evil things like witch devils and things like that um and go door to door and trick or treat no we dressed up like bible characters and we went to church and got candy got candy bags at church and did halloween skits and stuff like that so um now having a child I don't I don't see anything wrong with um, celebrating Halloween uh, oh, excuse me I probably will never let me see be a devil or um, or anything that's not pure <laughs> I guess and of light I won't let her be anything dark um, so um, I don't care if we dress up and I don't care my only reservation going trick-or-treating now I may take her to um, like malls and stuff like that and let her trick-or-treat my only reservation is we do not live in the world that we used to live in and people are really cruel and people are really evil um to children and the world's a very racist place now um now at this time that we live in um so i'm not all that keen on her taking candy from strangers and going to people houses and trick-or-treat you know and um getting candy from people that we don't know uh because like i said the world the world that we live in is cruel now and you know, you have to be careful if you let your child eat candy. And now the world we live in now, people no longer get to know their neighbors. You know, used to know who lived in front of you, to the right, to the left of you, sometimes even behind you. But now it's like, mm -mm, that's your world, that's your world, this my world, and I don't want you in it. And I don't really want to know what you got going on in yours. Snitches get stitches, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um... So, I don't know. You know, that's... The, I, I'm not... You, hmm. I, my husband didn't grow up celebrating it either. So, I don't really know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. And then I kind of feel like it sends the wrong message. You know, you tell your kids, hey, you don't take stuff from strangers. Hey, you don't talk to strangers. But this one day of the year. 
you're gonna get candy from them and you're gonna talk to them and guess what you're gonna go to their houses and knock on their doors <laughs> I just maybe I'm weird you know maybe I'm just thinking way too much into it or whatever but the world is a crazy place and I feel like it sends a, a backwards message I don't know anyways so no so and right now she's too young so I didn't even get a Halloween costume um we didn't even get a Halloween costume, like, no costume at all. She's she's so little. She's two. And, I mean, she can say trick or treat, but, I mean, I don't I don't want her having candy. So, um, ain't no use in us getting that candy because it's just going to sit till next year. <laughs> uh, and so, it just ain't, there isn't a point. Um, not right now. Not while she's this little. And costumes... I feel like just for me to take a picture, oh, it's a waste of money. Um, so we're not doing that. <laughs> um, but what we are doing is my husband is at the board today. And I'm nervous. I'm not calling his phone. This is probably the most, the longest I've went without calling just to hear his voice and check on him during the work day. But I'm not calling his phone because I don't want, I don't, he don't keep his phone on vibrate. And I do not want to call him, and he's in, in the board. Hopefully, he doesn't even have his phone in his pocket. Oh, jeez. Is that great? It's rainy. Um, hopefully, he doesn't even have his phone in his pocket, because his soldiers and stuff will call him, too. But, um, yeah, so I, I'm just, I'm nervous for him. I'm excited for him. He's been studying for, like, two months to make sure he gets everything right. My husband is eight. He won't ever admit this, um, but he's a perfectionist and he likes to get stuff right. So um, I'm just excited to hear from him. I'm like been checking my phone all day to make sure um, I didn't miss a text message from him. But uh, back to Halloween. So it's Halloween and then I don't know if people gonna be trick or treating tonight because it's supposed to storm. Uh, we got like a 60% chance of rain starting at around, uh, starting at around, I think, 6. Between 6, like from 6 to, I think, like 11. So, I don't know if people going to be trick-or-treating. And y'all see how it's not really sunny. It's kind of cloudy out here and it was drizzling already. So, but we shall see. I don't even give out, <laughs> I don't give out candy on Halloween. Because I'm weird about people coming to my door that I don't know. Like, I'm really weird. Like I said, times have changed. And you never know who could possibly be casing your, casing your stuff. So I ain't really all that cool with strangers coming to my door either. <laughs> but um, maybe, and this is not to say that there aren't dangerous people on military posts. Because the military posts, they vet the soldier um, with the FBI background checks and FBI... Uh, what is it? Uh, you have to go through a psyche valve done by the FBI. They vet the soldiers. They don't vet the family. So it's not to say that there aren't fam crazy people living on post. But um, when we're when she turns three, we'll be at on post housing. We'll be in on post housing. So um, maybe we'll go trick or treating, and maybe I'll just do one of those like buckets outside our front door um, with a sign that says "Take three pieces." be mindful of others, you know, um, leave some to share with the others, and, um, leave it like that, versus, uh, versus having to open my door every couple of minutes for somebody kids. It's not about to happen. So, yeah. So, we are on our way to Whitey World. Gotta get some stuff for her. Yeah. You gotta get some stuff for her. And I'm hungry. I haven't had anything. It's 12.15 in the afternoon. I haven't had anything today. What'd you say, baby? You ready to eat, eat? Yes, Okay, we can eat, eat. You see signs? Yeah. Oh, look at that truck. Not that one. He needs to move. Yeah, he needs to move. It's so much. Oh, I, these these people in Texas, when I tell you that whole stop two car spaces between you and another car, they take that stuff so literal. 
Like, this old granddaddy, his space for like three cars in front of him. I can't stand that. Like, jeez, man. Pull up. Yeah, he moving. Now we moving, too. Yeah, now we moving, too, who? Yo. Why I got so much saliva today? Jesus. There's a lot. Yeah. Chicken nuggets. Can you say it again? Good girl. Yay. Am I here? What? No. If I just pull back. Oh, sorry. Because it wasn't going to stop. All right. You're going to keep going. Hola. Como estas? Hi, guys. We are going to Tente. We are going to Pluckers um, because Hubby passed the board. He's promotable now. How does it feel? Is she dressed up like a cow for real? Yes, she is. Seriously? Yep, it's Halloween. Wow, they got smoke. They got a fog machine and everything. You ready? She ready? Um, anyway, sorry guys. Distracted at all these grown people in costumes. Um, but anyway, so your hubby passed the board. He's promotable. Chip, 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 chip. <laughs> How does it feel, babe? It's a blessing. It feels really? great. It feels that's, good. You know what? Awesome. I like I understand that's a I understand that's like the response. But that's so generic. Generic. Although it's true, but yes. I mean, no, but like, how does it really deep down inside like feel? It feels good. It feels like a monkey off my back. You know, I've been studying and preparing myself and um, to go in there and pass and do well. <clears throat> I'm thankful. Yeah. You know, it's good to know that uh, your time and effort pays off and it shows hard work. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you. This, cause let me tell you why I'm proud of him. Because he's super smart and he retains information like a sponge. Me, I could have been studying since July and I would have failed. Just, you know, just being honest. Like, I don't retain information like that. But him, he retains information like that. I looked up and got a very intelligent man. Thank you so much. Is that your alter ego? No. <laughs> um, but yeah, I looked up and got like a super intelligent guy, so he's smart. He's smart. He's smart. I picked, I picked the right one to take home to mama. Be smart. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to go get something to eat to commemorate and celebrate him becoming promotable because it's you know one step closer to reaching his goals yeah. and his career he has made a career for himself and although quick trip would have been a good career too because they pay good money um which one do you like better the army the, okay so you prefer um the army over quick trip i will say this because the army, of course, you don't get monthly bonuses, stuff like that. Yeah, the money was better, I think, at Quick Trip. I overall. think if I think if I would have been, if I would have stayed at Quick Trip and moved up. In the kitchens. In the, no, it was. Or at the in store. the kitchens or at the stores, I'd probably be making. <laughs> but I feel like this is a better opportunity because it's a stepping stone. So the more years I do, when I do get out. You know, I can transfer. Or, like you can retire. Yeah, I can retire and then transfer 
into something of the same field and or turn around and get a civilian government mm -hmm. job. Yeah, exactly. You could do like what? Um, Plus, this ain't the army ain't quick trip, so it's not like you, you're not dealing with uh, quick trip. You don't trip, deal with people. Quick trip customers. Well, you don't deal with like you you don't have a customer service job anyway. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the money was good at quick trip. That getting paid every Wednesday was great. Yeah, once a week, yeah. Bruh, if we had USAA back then, we would have been getting paid every Tuesday. <laughs> Got that on Tuesday. <laughs> nah, but I just, think they're I, boring. I, Babe, he's turning that way, I too. But, I just, um... Hey, babe, are I, you not paying attention? Yeah, you say he's turning Everybody's that doing that because of the big puddle right here. That puddle ain't big. But when you're trying to skirt off and speed out. I'm not out, trying to skirt off and speed out. I'm just trying to move up. about to wreck my car. See, passenger side driver here won't let me drive. Yeah, well, because you're trying to talk, but you, you need paranoid. to pay attention. You're just paranoid. You Whatever. Just, you're afraid of a little puddle of water. I'm afraid of the fact that you like to skeet off. And skeeting off like in a puddle makes, your tra makes the traction on your tires do stuff. I don't like to skeet off. I just want to go eat. I don't want to hydroplane and die. Well, nobody's... Nice skeet, no, I don't like the skeet off. Okay. You smell like you should just drive. No. <laughs> nobody, wants to, nobody wants to be bothered while they Anyways, drive. can you finish what you was talking about? Any. You don't even remember. <laughs> I, I feel like the army, for me, I feel like the army's more versatile. Uh, more versatile of a job, I think. Um. I think we see sleeping. She is. Just like we said she would. Um, but yep, so we are going to a place called Pluckers. Um Oh my gosh, best fried pickles. Ever. And they're the Spears, not the little hamburger pickles. Best fried pickles in the world. Um, Halloween, the kids kids eat free. So, um, so we're excited about that. Thank you, idiot. Move up to all these cars. Sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, it's Halloween. Maybe they going to go do stuff. I don't know. I'm just saying, you shouldn't have had to like drive on the side if cars would act like they, the cars have space to pull up and they don't. Anyways, so Pluckers is a wing spot that's here in Texas. I'm pretty sure it's other places, but I had never heard of it. I don't think Papa Bear's ever heard of it either. Not till we came Not here. Not till we got here. Um, so it's like really good. <laughs> like really, 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 really good. Um, but it's not like a restaurant where you get fancy uh it's one of those it's not a first date well it's a first date restaurant depending on the type of chick you date or whatever or the type of person you date um but it's more like a sports bar um sit down watch the games tv screens everywhere eat you some chicken wings and um so it's, it's a wing bar there you go great work but yeah pluckers is nice i like pluckers it's cool um my mama fell in love with it when we came because of the fried pickles all right oh. that was really close i knew what i was doing Brad, he almost y'all see this car he almost hit this car no i didn't and this car is a lot nicer than my car this is a dodge what is this a challenger you Charger? see what I have to deal with every time I drive? <laughs> he almost hit that you car, You see Ray. what I have to deal with every time I drive? You see how scared she is? He almost hit is? that car. Everything. Ray, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's... Oh, God. Let me get busy. He almost hit that car. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Go ahead. She's sleeping on Daddy. But... See my shoes? <laughs> She's sleeping on daddy. But this is Pluckers. Pluckers, Pluckers, Pluckers. Wing bar. So yeah, and they're not packed. So we're gonna go in and eat, yo.